Ho, 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 ho. And welcome once more to day number seven here on Try Hack Me. Today we're gonna do some more log analysis. Now I actually thought about how would I go around and do this because this is a large, large tutorial. So um, I decided to do the first and only thing that was the best way to do it. I think is to record everything, uh, write it down, and then I'm gonna explain to you the different commands that I used. I'm gonna show the commands as well. Uh, first of all, I guess if you just wanna see the answers, that is the answer right here. But how to actually do the lock analysis on the access lock. Now, first of all, we can go ahead and just check out how long the file is and it's, it's kinda of long. It's 8.6 megabytes and it is too much to just paste in chat GPT and ask for different kind of answers. So, we are actually tasked to do a really good thing here is to learn command prompt and basically going through these different kinds of steps here more or less with a few tweaks here and there, we are actually getting the answers we need. But there are some steps we need to do. I took myself around 20 minutes to go through this and this is a foreign area for me. I'm not doing these kind of things that much, but anyways, you know, let's just take a look at the table. So the table is as follows. We have one two, through eight columns. And these columns rep represent the data we have like this, just 8.6 megabytes. So in order to verify these things here, I'm gonna zoom a bit for you guys to see it. We can go ahead and try and execute some of the commands. Now, the easiest way to do it is just to say like, what if I just take this command here, you know, and just execute it. It basically says that we're gonna take, you know, cut D, and that is the first explanation. You're gonna cut out everything here. You know, you can see that there is a small space, not the first here, but the small space right there. So we're gonna cut every single one of these. So that's a space right there. You got a space right there, got a space right there and there and so on. So the first column, which would be the timestamp right there, it's the one you see right there, is gonna be the F1 and you're gonna read from access lock, which is also what we see. So if you go ahead and for example, took all this and said F2, then you would see all the IP addresses of the source IP. So, if that is what you want, for example, and you for, you, for example, want to sort all those, you could say sort, for example, and you will get all the IP addresses sort in a numeric order. Okay, so going through all of this, basically gonna learn you command from commands, how to pipe things through pipes. A pipe in Linux is basically, I mean, you can find right here, just a tad below is this piped sign right there. So it basically means all of this, all that you read in from the access log, the result of cut D with this uh, argument here, is being put and fed to the next one. And that's gonna cut even further. If you're gonna cut on F3, which is this one right here, and then you cut further, as you can see on the colon, if we scroll down just a tad, right here, then you will go ahead and take out the very first column of that. So if you took this here, pasted it in, you will get all the domain names. Scroll up one more time again. So you get all domain names, F1 and F2. If I then replace this with F2, you'll get all the parts instead. So as you see, it's not that difficult. It just takes a few moments of yum before you get it. Now, I think I kind of explained this well enough. I want to go straight to the solutions and let's talk about the different commands that need to be executed here. In order to find the amount of unique IP addresses you connect to the server, you can go ahead and execute this command right here. 
which basically says, I'm gonna cut D, uh, on this space, take the second column, access lock and assort it, only uniques, sort it, American, sort it again, and then one more time, uh, we're gonna count it. So it's gonna say nine, which is also why we have nine different um, IP addresses. Now, if you wanna, for example, say sort tag H, um, maybe it's tag tag help. You can go ahead and check out the help uh, in order to see what different kind of arguments mean. Now, this is probably uh, not the best view to look at, but you can see the 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 the, the dash n was a numeric um, sort. So the next one is to determine how many un unique domains were accessed by all the workstations. Now, well, that's not difficult. Go ahead and just execute this command right here. And you see that, okay, so we do something like that again. We cut it again, remove third column, and then we cut it again on the column, take the first column of the domain, sort it, unique sort it, numeric sort it, and count, and you're gonna get 111, so that is really the way you do it. Now, what we really do is that you take something out this part here. From that, you took something out, you take that bit you took out. And then you have all of those bits, then you sort them, you order them, sort them again, and count them. That's really what you do, right? And the third question can be answered by using this one. Now, you of course know that you need to find these kind of names right here. So, if you haven't executed um, well, it is like what status codes generated by the HTTP request to the least access domain. And we could, of course, go ahead and scroll up just a tad to see how to find that. And it would probably be to take this command right here. And if I could copy paste it, there we go. <laughs> then you could probably find it. Uh, let's see, it says tail, let's not take tail. Just take all of them, then scroll to the top, and then you can see it says partner services. So I'm just showing you a shortcut how to get it. If I had to backtrack every time, it would take some longer time. But yeah, we can also see that we got this really funny domain right there, but let's get back to that. So the one right here, partner services, was the one that we're going to Grip on, we'll just take the command one more time, and it's gonna show us the port of 503. We could also, well, even further, you know, filter it and only get one line, but who cares about that? Let's create a screen. Okay, so this time we're gonna go ahead and find out what it is based on the highest high command count connection attempts. And we got this domain right there. And in order to get that, we can go back to the command we just executed before with the tail 10. And we can see that, you know, on the high end, we got this a uh, little weird uh, connection domain from TryHackMe. And we thought this is going to be the domain we were to report. And that is also the correct one. So we put it in. What's the source IP of the workstation accessed by the malicious domain? That is the, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth question. In order to do that, we can just, one more time, cut out everything, and then just grip directly for that particular name, and we're gonna get the IP sped out to us in the screen. Kinda easy. How many requests were made? Now, again, that's quite easy. Let me just, the screen and what was it one two three four five six the sixth question so that would be to take this again and just count it so we get one five eight one of the amount of quest. Now, counting that yourself would just take a long time, so you don't want to do that. Now you want to exfiltrate the hidden flag. 
All right, so in order to do that, we could, for example, say, now in order to find the flag, we can go ahead and execute, for example, a command like that to see what's going on on the domains. And just to get an idea of what is actually output, we can see that we got these goodies. Now, it seems like the goodies is uh, fit. It's just a variable and contains some sort of interesting value. It looks like base64 in my eyes. So we would actually need to exfiltrate that, you know, and from that, probably need to decode and so on. In order to do that, we could generate a command just like this and basically say we don't grip everything from that domain from this access lock cut out as we used before f5 which is i'm just going to show you now now f5 so go there that is the url and the url is this one right here and then we would need to cut it out on the equal sign because after the equal sign is the value and after that it ends so with that, then again, we're gonna cut it from the equal sign on the second one, the second one because we are cutting um, from a space. So basically that, that space is gonna be um, dividing the strings into two. And then we're gonna base64 decode it and that's gonna give us the, the whole list. I'm gonna scroll up just a tad to check out what's going on and we have the flag right there i guess we could probably even further say grab try hack me and then it would give us the the flag even even more like that so that would also be a way to actually trade the data now i i want to say that this was a bit more messy than i was uh trying to make it but there are just so many things we need to to verify and understand in this video in order to get it right and i really hope that you learned something about this today what is most important is that you think about the data and i really want to show you how i think about the data i want to show in paint if you got this far so basically what i'm going to say is that you have um you have a string like this for example so what you do is use the cut D command and say, I want to cut this out and then you get this back. And then you want to cut this out again in, into two different ones. Um, and you end up with this and you have many of those and then you sort it and rearrange it. So you have many of those in a list. And what you really end up doing is just rearranging the different, you know, lines. And then you say, oh, that's the sorted amount of data. I hope this kind of also helped you a bit to understand what's going on. The best thing I can say is these kind of things is kind of tricky on your mind if you're not used to the command line. So take a look at it. And I really hope you learned something from it today. And we'll see you again tomorrow on day eight.